Wow. Um, I don't know what to say about this song apart from the fact that it's in my top three and sometimes, depending on my mood, it's my favourite. Oh, okay. That may surprise you because I've never had Albania that high before. Well, maybe in 2018. But um, there's just something about this song that really gets me. Um, I also love the fact that um, for perhaps the first time, although some, I'm sure someone will correct me, we have a whole family act, um, multi-generational family act at performing at Eurovision. Um, we, had a, we had a mother and daughter back in 1988, but um, this is the first time we've got brothers and sisters and mum and dad, mm. which, I, which I, I, I think is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, yeah, melodically, sonically, I think they've done a really good job with this. Um, I was fearful for the revamp because certain songs that win Festival Ikengas are nothing without the thick orchestra, but <laughs> luckily they've done a good job with this revamp. What is going to make or break for qualification is the staging. Now I know, I hear that they've got Sasha Jean-Baptiste again, mm. and I'm really interested to see what they'll do with this. What I would not recommend is to just have them standing in a line for the whole three minutes just singing the song. Mm. I think they'll I think they'll need to they'll need to be a you know a concerted you know a concept. Yeah. Which I think that I think I think they'll do and I, I think they'll pull it off because not a lot I don't see a lot of people um getting this in their qualifying list. Which which saddens me um, because I think it deserves a place in the final. Okay, um, uh, I've seen quite a few people online saying that oh the main girl is good, but like get rid of the others. And considering the song's subject matter, I just feel that really ignorant because mm. like but probably because they didn't even bother to look up what the song meant um uh from what i understand it's basically about family and nostalgia kind of thing and so you say that the staging needs to communicate something i feel like that's what they need they need to communicate family kind of thing i don't know how <laughs> i'm not good at that kind of stuff but um yeah yeah i think the that that's what they need to communicate because you know I just feel like the, the Albanian diaspora could take that on quite well, um, and um, it's quite a nice song. I do feel like um, it sounds like something that Albania would have sent in the two thousands, and um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure how that's going to work nowadays uh i've got its qualification chances at 50 50 because i think it's um i didn't check to see how much diaspora they've got in this semi-final but if they communicate the message of the song well in the staging i think this could appeal to anybody really uh so mm -hmm. i think it i think it really rests on the staging as you said john in terms of its qualification chances so um yeah. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. We will. It's touch and go. I accept that. But I'll, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Oh, I was kind of surprised that um, you had it this high. Like, I, I got the impression that you liked it from your s social media, but I didn't expect it to be top three high. <laughs> ne neither did I. But um, and yet here we are. 